Have you fought your demons, not only for yourself, but for your children? <laughs> the reason for all the ninja moves, by the way, is because a couple of weeks ago, I watched the film Dragon, which is the life story of Bruce Lee. If you haven't seen it, it's an amazing movie. So if anyone hasn't heard about the, the weird sort of mysteries surrounding Bruce Lee, um, there was apparently a curse on the males within his family, which is why when he was a child, his dad named him a girl's name because there was apparently a family curse and a demon that was um, terrorising just the men within the family. And Bruce Lee was uh, said, as depicted in this movie, to have had visions of fighting a demon um, constantly throughout his adult life, within his dreams. Um, and sadly, he did die at a very young age of 32. Um, and it was quite uh, unexplained, obviously unexpected, because he was very fit and well. And some people believe that this was attributed to the demon. And then, of course, we have his son, Brandon Lee, who sadly also died on the set while film filming The Crow um, at the age of 28. Uh, and it was a kind of freak accident. Um, they are remaking this uh, soon, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, but yeah, can't forget to mention him as well, because he was also a male within the family. And again, some people believe that this was attributed to the family curse. But one of the scenes that really struck me within the film Dragon was when Bruce Lee went to see his old mentor. And his mentor was aware of the fights that he'd been having in his dreams with this demon. And Bruce Lee, I, I think he felt like he couldn't fight him. And his mentor actually said to him, you're not only fighting your demon for yourself now, you're also fighting it for Brandon, your child. And he also said that our demons are not just, you know, demons as we depict them, but they are things like anger, hate, jealousy, envy, shame, hurt. These are all things that can attribute to us having what we call demons. But these things, like with Bruce Lee, can also be passed on to your children. I think, like, when it comes to, to generational traumas, um, you know, things get passed down to your kids. There's no way around it. No child gets away with, like, not having any trauma. And, you know, sometimes it can build resilience and other times it can just cause, like, so many issues as an adult and then obviously the adult child who has inherited the traumas then grows up to be an adult and has a child and then that child then has more trauma that has been passed on through these generations and I think it's a really really difficult job to face these demons sometimes but when you have a child and when you bring a child into the world like you have a responsibility for that child because that child is going to watch your every move. They're going to see your demons. They're going to see your ugly side. They're going to see, you know, your angry side. They're going to see your hate. And sometimes as children, we take that on as our fault. When I say we, obviously, we have all been children and we have all been affected by the demons of other people. But yeah, it just, it really struck me, like just that little bit just got my brain on this whole kind of trajectory of thinking about how when we bring children into the world, I mean, I don't have children and I know that it's not easy, um, but we have to be so conscious of what it is, you know, what demons, what things are within us that we might be passing down to our children. Because when we fight these demons, when we look at ourselves, we can actually start to break these generational curses. You know, or whether you call it curses or trauma, you know, these things will inevitably affect your child. And there's no blame in it either. Like having compassion for yourself is actually a massive part of the healing process. I just think if we, if everybody, if humans on a collective level start to like be really, really mindful and conscious of what it is that we are like showing to our children, then in a generation or two generations, we could 
like really have a powerful you know set of humans that are filled with self-love and not with demons anyway i've rabbited on enough i think now and if you're still here like listen to this well done on you but yeah fighting demons i think is a massive massive job especially if you have children um but i think it's such an important thing to do